All right, well, here's the setup that we use to make the uh, drum light piece happen. Um, this is pretty darn simple. Uh, and I'll just explain to you what we've got going here and what all it does. Um, so the, the three different elements we have in this is we have the, the computer that has a piece of software on it that is uh, basically handling all the communication between everything that uh, needs to be synchronized here. Um, we've got a USB to DMX converter right here. Um, and that uh, takes our uh, USB signal here and sends it out as a lighting signal uh, to control our dimmers. And then we have this here, which is an Arduino um, that is set up to take input from our audio console so we can take uh, the audio hits from the drums and analyze them and do whatever we need to do with them. So uh, another thing that uh, you can't see here but was important to the way we set this up uh, was the computer is also connected to the network and is uh, receiving um, ArtNet, which is a uh, lighting protocol that sends DMX over, uh, over Ethernet. And the reason we needed that was because with this particular piece, uh, it was happening in the middle of, uh, of one of our services. And so the lights that were being controlled by this needed to be controlled uh, during other parts of the service for different things. So what this does uh, is it takes ArtNet in from our lighting console and we've got uh, some specific channels assigned to do uh, the, the lights for this and we're just watching those channels and um, if they're at 100% uh, or whatever it just passes that information out the USB to DMX converter and to the dimmers. Um, and also the lighting console has uh, a separate channel that's assigned to turn this setup on or off um, so that uh, it's not running all the time. Basically, if it's on, it's a highest takes precedence system where if the lighting console is sending a higher value, uh, it goes to the lights, or if the, uh, the drum setup is sending a higher value, that goes to the lights. So, uh, yeah, that's how we have that set up. Um, and then I'll just give you a quick look at how uh, the Arduino is set up here. Um, so the way that a, the Arduino works is you have a whole bunch of input and output pins here, um, both analog and digital. And what we're using on this is we're using the analog inputs. Uh, and we're just taking basically our uh, positive side on these audio connections and we're going into the uh, analog inputs and then we've got the the negative and the ground and we're basically taking all of that and just going straight to ground with it and so that just connects into the Arduino to uh, the analog ports so A0 to 3 are used for that and then the ground port um, is connected to ground so very simple, um, and we just soldered it onto uh, a little breadboard here to uh, make it a little cleaner and easier to uh, easier to connect. And yeah, it worked real slick. Uh, this also has a uh, the Arduino has a little microprocessor on it, and what you do is you send uh, a little program from your computer, you upload it into this, and uh, it you use that to uh, process the inputs from there. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and toss all of, uh, all of the information on this up on the internet for uh, whoever wants to use it. Uh, the software will be up there, the code will be up there, and then the, uh, the code to uh, uh, that gets uploaded to the Arduino, I'll post that as well. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get a, uh, a diagram of how we wired this, like I said, super simple. Um, this whole setup cost us uh, maybe 120 bucks to put together. The the Arduino I think was 60, and the the USB to DMX converter was about the same. So real cheap, uh, real simple to set up, and you know it worked great for us. So um, I I hope some of you guys can get some use out of this. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, just post comments or send me an email and uh, I'd love to, to help you out however I can.